Local officials say La Crosse is heading toward a recession. The city of La Crosse's general fund is expected to lose about $6 million in revenue this year, largely because of the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, last week, the city's finance department approved an economic recession plan to help manage financial losses. Tonight, the Common Council is set to vote on it. News 8 Now's Tyler Job tells us about the plan and the council's expectations. The coronavirus pandemic continues to show no mercy to cities financially across the country. And it is no different for the city of La Crosse. Fees, licenses, parking tickets, I mean, all, all of the things that make up the city's budget, it, it has been, in essence, turned off. Mayor Tim Cabot says La Crosse will lose about $6 million of the city's $68 million budget which is about eight and a half percent. A chunk of that revenue not coming in is from the Lacrosse Center, which hasn't hosted an event for nearly two months. In a typical year, it generates somewhere in the range of about two and a half million dollars. So like every everywhere else with, with things shut down and canceled, uh, we have to look at our services and our programs now differently uh, going forward. So the city is turning to an economic recession plan to help cover some of those losses. The plan is mainly run through the finance department, which keeps an eye on the city's revenue and expenses. It's really there to come up with guidelines for how the city can react and you know best prepare for times of economic uncertainty. Common Council member Jessica Olson says for lowing city personnel is unavoidable. There's just mathematically no other option to, to make that gap close. By not issuing layoffs, Olson says the city would likely turn to reserve money. The city has more than $22 million saved up. Once it's spent, it's gone. And without a plan of replenishing that money, we're, we're just digging ourselves deeper into a hole. Cabot says he's hoping for lows don't happen, but realizes it's a big challenge. All of those uh, types of the, you know, the ideas and kind of what people would think about usually when you're looking to, to fill a budget hole is, is what we're going through right now. Olson expects the council's vote to pass. We're trying to think carefully, but at the same time act quickly. And so mistakes now, we don't pay for necessarily in this calendar year. It might be something that we end up paying for years into the future. In La Crosse, Tyler Job, News 8 Now. So about 75% of the city's budget is assigned to staffing and personnel. Cabot says the city will start making recommendations on how to tackle the plan by the end of the month.